What's up traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol ANY for Sphere 3D Corp. On the left hand side we have the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. This of course will be an update. We've covered it on the channel in the past but today there was a pretty substantial catalyst I would imagine. There was a mention of Elon Musk potentially having something to do uh, as a board member or on some sort of merger that the company will be undergoing. Again, I'm not a fundamentalist. I'm just saying and giving some sort of background on why this move developed today, uh, but you're of course here for a price action analysis. So let's go ahead and talk about the chart and what essentially unfolded on today's session. So clearly here, making a move from the low end of the range all the way on up to the top all in one day. And the range just simply being defined as this area, right? We've been playing ping pong now back and forth for about a month, right? So all things considered, we did make an attempt at the top end. And as we can see, you know, there was some resistance in the past here and we rejected today. So what we're watching for is can we get up and over the breakout point here at $7.46. Then the next logical question would be, well, where's the stock likely going to go? Well, when we're dealing with ranges, and again, the range is being defined by this, we typically look for a double of that range, literally the dollar amount. And that's going to bring us right up into right around the nine whole dollar. So that would be the upside target here. Also notice that from the large day, the large expansion of range day that we had back here, this level at the 872, if we just zoom in a hair, is structural, right? We have some lows in here for the first pullback being defined as this right here. And then it's where we bounced into the end of the day on that session. Now, granted, yeah, we did open lower and move lower after that, but it does have some importance. So I'd watch out for 872, uh, you know, noting where that's coming from, and then really keep an eye out for nine as that upside level. I want to take a look over at the 30 minute intraday time frame now, just sort of show you where the middle of the channel is coming from, right? So we have this, we have this as support, we have this, uh, oops, sorry, this as support, this as resistance in here. Here, we're getting a little bit of resistance as well, resistance in here. So that's why the midpoint of the channel at the $6.55 mark is on our charts. Let's take a look at how this move actually unfolded, though, through the lens of Fibonacci, as we typically do, and just make note of, you know, was it healthy, was it not, so on and so forth. So first move higher, held the 61.8, so not ideal. Obviously, ideal would have held the 38.2, but no worries. Let's go all the way on up to the high now, so all the way on up to here. And what we'll notice is that on this larger pullback, right, we did technically hold the 61.8 again it's 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 okay but in an ideal world we really would have held up above that 30 uh, yeah 38.2 put in some sort of healthy consolidation up here into the end of the day so all things considered there are a couple of things that uh, would have me a little bit hesitant about just jumping in blindly for the breakout right i would really be patient and wait to see if we can again clear that 750 ish area the top end of the range as well as today's high before the breakout gets underway into that nine ish area or if you want to be uh, a little bit more conservative or excuse me, aggressive rather, then you could look for the recapture of the 38.2 from today's range. So let's go ahead and throw that level on the chart. If we do something like this and clean up the fibs, it should make it a little bit easier on the eyes. And you know, that's pretty good. So we have the $6.88 mark, but I would argue, look at what we have here, right? So obviously this candle closes here uh, and this candle right here tops out here as resistance. So maybe it would be worth adjusting this lower just slightly, right? And it's not, it's just more nuanced than, you know, too, too important, but down a couple of cents, three cents there, 685 is kind of that next area, right? So if we consolidate in here, maybe there's an initial breakout up and over that 685 to get us to the top of the range. And then you would want to see it not violate that on any sort of pullbacks, right? That would ha then have to become the line in the sand. The worst case scenario here inside of any, and uh, we'll see if this ultimately happens, is if we open underneath the midpoint of the channel, remembering that, let's just look at it through the lens of the daily, right? Here's your channel. If we open underneath the midpoint, which we know has a lot of historical data around it, then I would argue it's very likely we come back down and retest the bottom end at $5.75. I wouldn't really fish long at this point in time. I'd wait for some more confirmation at the top end of the range for the breakout instead of trying to speculate as a buyer down here. Because remember, now that we have so many touches to the bottom end of the range, then just like the top of the range, it's more susceptible to breaking down. And if it breaks, where's price likely going to go? Well, to this past breakout point from in here at $4.36. So I would not want to be uh, wrapped up on the wrong side of that trade if we do break down 
down underneath the low end of the range. I guess if you technically did want to go bottom fishing, you can use a tight stop, do something like this, buy it right at that 575 in the hopes that it turns higher. Uh, but again, with all of these touches here, it is turning into a bit of a flush point. So be careful uh, around that 575. So those are my thoughts here. Again, good volume. We did attempt the top end of the range. Uh, technically, as it sits right now, we are kind of in this zone above the 50% mark. We'll see if we can get up and over some of those overhead targets, which we've talked about in today's video. So if you enjoyed it or learned anything new, definitely let me know down below in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.